Hello everyone, it's Return of the Jodi here. I am posting another collection room update video. On the last one that I posted, if you remember, I talked about some new things I'm getting that haven't arrived yet. New Black Series figures, uh, lightsaber, super cool premium piece, just some random stuff. So anyway, I got everything set up, did some rearranging to accommodate it, and I'm going to show you a little bit about what's been going on. So I'm actually going to start over by the TV area. This is where the TV is, all our retro gaming consoles and our new gaming consoles. Um, and then all the Lego, some of my premium stuff. So basically I had a little storage cabinet over to the right over there and I actually replaced it with a shelf. And I'm actually pretty happy I did this because my Lego area was probably the most junked up cluttered display, but I had a bunch of stuff on the top of that shelf just wedged in. And because I got a new shelf now, I'm able to display some of the pieces more individually and kind of just make it a lot more clean looking. So with that, the whole reason I did this is because I got this awesome Darth Talon custom statue off Etsy. Uh, it sits about 15 inches tall. I'm gonna try my best to highlight it as well as I can, but she looks incredible. Instant favorite of the collection. I mean, not the favorite, but one of my favorites, like top tier. She looks gorgeous, deadly, everything you want from Darth Talon, you know, getting slashed up never felt so good. <laughs> but anyway, the artist did a great job. He uh, kept great communication throughout. Um, I don't have a lot of custom pieces, but this is something I had to have. Let me show a little bit of the side view there. Um, but yeah, this thing is just so, so, so awesome. Highly recommend. And then it gave me a place for my Padme too. So I got both those on the top. And again, I was able to clear out this room up here. So I still have the pod racer on top of one of our Xbox Ones. And then uh, get the ski speeder and the uh, Pose X-Wing on the other side. And then just cleaned it up a lot. So it does look a heck of a lot better. And then some of my other Legos, things like that, those, that's all exactly the same. But with the new shelf, I was able to display this stuff a little more cleanly. So just some random pieces. I'm not going to go over thing individually, but you can kind of see what I got going on. So yeah, I'm just happy to have these in a more reasonable display and also the uh the y-wing actually fits in there diagonally tilted up with a helmet holding it up so i'm pretty happy with that because sometimes some of these lego ships are hard to display because they take up so much space so but yeah this is where i'm watching tv now i just wanted that darth talon under lights and like a prime spot and i got the added benefit of cleaning up some of the junk over there so have that and then behind here the lightsaber that I got I actually got Darth Revan's saber um Amazon had a day where it was a flash sale for 50% off so I got that thing for 140 bucks shipped so had to have it great buy great deal so that's there um so my lightsabers I kind of they're starting to go up the stairs a little but got them and then more over here and I actually added a couple of the hooks to the curved ones, like a couple of the hangers up there just to straighten them up a little because they were so asymmetrical. They sat a little crooked with just one. And it was something that literally nobody ever noticed but me. But seeing that I'm the one down here 95% of the time, well, my wife hangs out down here, but I'm still down here a lot more than her. Um, if it bothers me, it's got to be changed. So evened them up a little bit, added it. So I added a couple of those hooks just to straighten those guys up a little bit. And then I actually got a couple of new uh, Kenner figures. So I got a uh, my ever ongoing mesh mission of completing the 96. And I picked up maybe five five things. But I have uh, a couple of these Hoth Troopers complete, as well as some of Jabba's goons. So you got Malakili, uh, Reese, and Weequay. So I've added those to my Kenner display. And again, I have all the first 12 complete, except for the Luke. Actually, 
the Tuscan Raider is not complete. He's missing his gaffy stick, so I'll eventually find one, add it to that, but uh, missing him. I have a couple of last 17s. Not many, but uh, I have two of them, so and both of them missing their weapons too, but whatever. But yeah, so adding to that, I actually put the, uh, the retro Mando figures by them and some of the Kenobi ones I have. Uh, I actually stopped collecting the retro line. I'm not doing that anymore. I actually sold all my uh, New Hope ones. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like the ones that are repros, like the point to me is getting the original 96. So if I have that, why do I want a newer one? And again, if that's your thing, go for it. But with how many lines and things I collect, I some had to go. So I stopped doing that. So the ones that I had, I opened up. Well, the ones that are not repros of original trilogy stuff, like the new series, I basically opened them and I added them to this because they actually display well with the originals, of course, because they're made in that style. So I don't really have much of a desire to collect a lot more of those, but yeah, I don't know. The price is right. I might snag a few and open them, but I'm not doing the original trilogy of that anymore. I just, I'm keeping that for the original 96. Um, and then to a Black Series area. So the next area, I got some new stuff. I actually have quite a bit. Uh, I might miss something, but I'm gonna try my best not to. Uh, I think that, I think I talked about the Cad Bane and Cobb Vanth two pack in the last video, so I'm not gonna touch upon that. But some other new Black Series figures I've gotten. Do -do. Ah, yes, I got Malik. Knights of the Old Republic, uh, one of the best Star Wars games ever, arguably one of the best RPGs ever. I would say the twist in that game is not only the coolest twist in Star Wars game history, but I would argue that's one of the best twists I've ever experienced in any video game. Um, so, so cool. Came, came out in 03, so it is 20 years old, but still holds its own. KOTOR is an awesome game. So I think that's the only new one there. And while we have Zeb, congrats to all the TVC crew of getting the ghost fully backed with all the tiers, including Zeb. Uh, I myself am one of those. I was a day one backer. I was like number 49 or something like that. So pump for that. And then scrolling down here, we got Malgus. Malgus is great. Everything everybody's saying about him is all true. Very, very, very cool. And then I actually got the Book of Boba Fett Luke with Grogu. I actually had to super glue Grogu's lightsaber in his hand. Well, Yoda's saber in his hand. Because he doesn't hold it. But that's how I wanted to display it. So that's new. And then... I don't think there's anything there. Oh, I got Bastila, also from KOTOR. Loved her. And she looks great, too. Just the face sculpt is incredible. I know it's not based off a real person, but that is a great looking face. Body looks good. I'm, I like that figure. And then we got the Cal Kestis, finally. The new Jedi Survivor, Cal Kestis. Uh, I played that game too. I completed as much as I could in that game. I thought it was excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent game. And just the things that it ties together and brings in there, very good. And I actually super glued uh, BD-1 up there too. Super glue and everything nowadays, I don't know. But that's how I wanted him displayed. So he's there. And scrolling down, I think. Maybe about it for new Black Series figures I've gotten. I don't really think there's anything else new. Down here, I got Tala from Kenobi. Happy to have her represented here, so I got that. I think that's about it. But yeah, I just added some new Black Series figures, got them all displayed, got them all where I want them. Yeah, such a cool line. Such a cool line. And I keep finding ways to wedge more of them in there. Just doing a little creative things like this. Like I had uh, the Porgs on their own stand. 
So I moved them and basically to save space, I just put them with Last Jedi Ray, Island Journey Ray, just because it made sense. She's in the scene with them. So little things like that I'm doing to save space. And then my holiday troopers, I actually have the Hanukkah uh, Mando coming today, which I'm excited about. Amazon's supposed to be dropping it off today. So cool to get another holiday represented in there with uh, Christmas and Halloween. And I'll have a Hanukkah one there. So kind of cool. I think it's cool they did that. And as a figure, that looks super, super cool. Very, very good looking. And then the uh, file cabinet that just has a bunch of stuff that I need. I need storage down here. That's what used to be where that shelf was. And I kind of just had a bunch of stuff wedged around it and thrown on top of it. So I actually moved that here in which I was able to put a coaster by my beanbag chair and a couple of my other specialty Black Series figures, the George Lucas and Stormtrooper Disguise and the Kenner Retro uh, Admiral Akbar. And those are just some little squishy stress ball things that I have because life is stressful. So I got those there. It gives me a little area to put my drink when I'm sitting there, which is nice. And then a couple TVC figures I've gotten new. I got the new wave finally. So I got, uh, yeah, but Moff Jared or whatever. Jer Jared, Moff Jarod. He's there. Boba Fett. Um, and then the other one's in that wave. I, ugh, Cad Bane. I got a second Cad Bane. So I actually opened this one up because I already had them and added them to my Battle of Geonosis slash Clone Wars display. So again, this is a prequel slash Clone Wars display. So I keep put adding more people to it. But I put Cad Bane at the top, snooping down there. He's on a co-op mission with uh, Aura Singh up there. So the bounty hunters are invading. Zam Wessel's up there. So yeah, I added them there. Um, I got my Kenner colored Boba Fett finally. I don't know if that was in the last video, but I finally got that. As well as both the Kenner colored, or the, uh, the art Boba Fetts. I got two of each of those, so I was able to open those. I actually added Paz Vizsla to my Mando display. Oh, and uh, some droids. I actually bought a lot of droids. Shop Disney had a big sale, so I got a pack of the Pride droids that they had come out. So added some more droids to my Navarro Cantina that Watto and uh, Dexter Jetster are running. And I think everybody knows my concept on this. All the bars in Star Wars are always like, no droids. Uh. So I wanted to make it a point to flood my bar with as many droids as possible. So this is where the, they can all come and spend their monies. So they're here. I also got the uh, new Halloween droid. It's like C5 monster or something like that, but more droids there. And then I just threw a couple of them. Like I threw one in my solo display, one of the pride droids. Uh, the Jabba's palace, I got the, the serving drinks droid. He's down there. So yeah, I just added a bunch of droids and stuff, which is cool. And I put another one of the pride droids up there, the red one, just because it is red and it matches whatever his name is from Resistance. So put those up there. Uh, yeah, that's actually a piece that came with the Black Series Grogu and Luke set, but I added it to my Battle of Endor display I have because it's grassy. So I'll use that. And I think that's about it over here. Uh, Nine Numb, one of the new TVC figures. I got all the like clone, the Ark Commanders. I got all those for the Clone Wars 20th anniversary. So I got all of them up there and I actually finally finished uh, covering this area. So the TVC area is kind of filled up as it is. And I started the new row. I still, I'm always finding ways to wedge more in there, but as you can see, and TBC is doing well. So I got all of that covered in there. It goes all the way around. And I'm working on that bottom shelf right there, that bottom row. So I think I fit like six more down there. And then I have some plans to keep wedging more of these things in, which we'll do. And then last but not least, I have in my Funko area, some of my character specific displays. Like I said, I added the uh, the other art Boba Fett. 
TVC one. So both those are there. And then I actually at a comic book store, I picked up a couple Funko Pops. I got the BB-8 where he's doing the thumbs up. And then I got the uh, Snow Trooper, the Imperial Snow Trooper. So I added those to my Funko Pop display and I think that's about it for my new stuff here. So thank you everybody for watching. The room just keeps on growing. And if it keeps on growing, I'll keep on showing. <laughs> uh, it's Friday. May the force be with you all. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.